when we want to overcome a certain area where we lack knowledge and only that word will help us, I use it and then explain. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah, you see, like I, I can use the, right now the word congenial. <laughs> Which means something suitable to your needs. Something suitable. Amen. You know, like, you know, I believe that uh, uh, Liz is a congenial uh, choice of a wife to Matovu. Amen. That means compatible. Compatible means they're compatible. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. Friendly. That's a big uh, The strong word, bigger word for that is uh, sympathetical, which is the same thing actually. Sympathetical. They're sympathetical to each other. That means you're sociable. In both of you, you, you cannot live together unless you're sociable with each other. Amen? In other words, the word is, another word is sympathetic, you know, which is very good, which you know it, anyway. Sym sympathetic. Sympathy. We're talking about uh, what God hates. But God was sympathetic with human beings. Well, he looked at us and say and wondered, how can we survive without angels? How can we survive without angels? Eh? Because we are in a world where the devil is wicked and wants to destroy everyone. Amen? So, how can we survive? In the same way, there are some people that uh, he has to fight in order that you may survive. Amen? Amen? Amen. Uh, there are some demons he has to fight in order that may survive. Well, the devil, the, the certain, rather, God doesn't want, Jesus doesn't want us to follow the devil because he knows he's dangerous. Amen? God, God doesn't want us to follow the devil because he knows he's dangerous. Amen. I had, I mean, I was in, in uh, I was uh, in uh, Montana one day. Professor, I Montana. I'd uh, been invited by a movie star called Stephen Seagal. How many of you have heard about him? How many of you have heard about him? Yeah, he had read about me in a newspaper in England. And I think in Dubai as well, they were talking about miracles which were happening in my work. Uh, there are, you know, like the Daily Mail in England sells millions of copies a day. 
in the world which is conducted by Jesus and they had found a place where it's done and they say Namirendo Christian Fellowship. They had discovered that there was healing. So in, in, uh, they wanted to tell, inform the World Health Organization. That Jesus healed. So in that period, in that period, 1995, I spoke uh, uh, on, on BBC television and radio 18 times. And they paid uh, for me to fly British Airways first class. And it was in first class that I, I, I traveled. And they, they also paid for me hotels for quite some time. And then the news spread all over the world that there was a healer called Jesus. Me, I wondered why Jesus had done this for me when there were some other people who live in countries where he was first preached. Professor Yehunya, so the story of David came to my mind. Came to my mind. And that David had uh, actually uh, been thought of as a useless person. And, uh, but spiritually, he was not right. Amen? 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 So God rejected uh, more handsome ones, and uh, I'm not saying that God, uh, and rejected more handsome ones. Katonda, ya kiliza Dawdi, no labanga, Amen. And he taught instead. He took instead who? He, he took David. So God, in other words, hate Jonathan, Jonathan and others and decided to prefer a person with a good heart like David. Amen. Amen. Because the heart of David was congenial to God. And the heart of Samson was uncongenial. Samson. Uh, no, I mean, Jonathan was uncongenial. There are some people in the Bible who are like that. Jacob was congenial to God, but Esau was not. Amen? Amen? So that, you know, it's very important for you to, to be compatible, to find a way of being compatible to God, being looked at as compatible to God. Amen? Amen. How are you thinking? How are you, how are you dealing with, with these people and all these things? 
You know, sometimes it becomes very uncomfortable in the modern times uh, for us to be preachers because of the phone, and they keep on calling you the whole night. I mean, people call you the whole night. Uh, but your heart should not be thinking about yourself. You should think about those people who are calling you, how much they are suffering, and Jesus wants them to talk to you. Amen? Amen. What they're going through. Some of them are mentally sick. I think you don't know what I'm talking about. But if somebody is mentally sick, he has got so many dreams and visions. So, you know, he keeps on dreaming. When, when somebody uh, is mentally sick, they are very difficult to deal with because they call you every night, every time. Some, some, there's somebody who keeps on waking me up and says, Professor, I just dreamt that I was dressed up in a white shirt. Okay, you lie, I mean, you go, go sleep. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's okay. It's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's okay. That's a, a normal dream. Pastor, I, I dreamed that I was walking from one room to another. What does it mean? Things like that. But Jesus wants you to listen to them. Amen? Amen? That is... You have a congenial heart, a heart that's compatible to Jesus. Those people matter to him. Amen? Amen? Congeniality is very important. Uh, it's very, very important for you to be congenial to other people. So, it's very important to be compatible to Jesus. You saw him talking to children where the disciples at one time were not compatible to Jesus. They wanted the children to be kicked away. Amen. 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 And what did Jesus say? Yes, we are Gambachi. Let these children come unto me. Amen. 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 Because uh, the kingdom, the kingdom of God is theirs. Their angels are standing before the Father every day. So if it's about the, the kingdom of the Lord, don't run it as if it's your kingdom. Amen. 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 Have you understood? That's why you see me going to meet people that other people don't like. I tell, I tell myself, it's not my kingdom. It is the Lord's kingdom. Some people want to run the kingdom of God as though it is their kingdom. And when Jesus performs a miracle uh, through them, they look at it as their miracle. Amen? Pray the Lord. So that is what I, I called sympathical. You know, it should be... Uh, 
compatible. Amen. How many of you have understood me? I'm trying to create in you the mind of Christ. You cannot run the, heart, the mind of the, the kingdom of God with the mind of the devil. Amen. Amen. Today I was watching um, some place where they were beating some two, some two old men. I don't know what they had done here. Beating. They were being ruled they were in, in the rain and they, they humbled themselves and said, please, please. And these tall, strong men are coming up with whips and whatever. I, I looked away. And I remembered, uh, 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 and I remembered uh, social media. Social media beats up people. Oh. Have you understood? Important people, whatever. Instead of looking, treating, I, I say to myself, why don't they take them in a bed, in a bed somewhere, in a, in, a, in a room somewhere, and talk to them? That is the heart of Christ. The Mirambex Fellowship shall never have that uh, uncongenial heart. We've got to have a heart that understands people and is compatible with the mind of Christ. Everybody say con congeniality. Who can explain this more than I have? You can, somebody can explain. You can explain. Kakati and when I talk about, yes, you can explain. Okay. Okay. Yes. 
Ninja group of Professor Yaki, my mini Sebu River, Yagina Masson, or Kubeda one. Nam to move the Nam Gumi Kiriza, Paka Boya Umura, BBA, Boya Gabe Paka Boya Fa, Ninga Gumi Kiriza. We can name Muzante, a professor, a chicken to Kuru Takatevus and Makenza Vitam, Nji, Ye Arabica Sarao, or put a Kurimida Wakabaka Wakatunda, Lakurimida Chi, Amaka, to know it what you are saying about Turabako. Quite Nina at one in the doctor city with a smile, which take it. Akatic, but again that damn of Goran for the Bibuzo, between Buza and Omosa Jono, Akuagara Puchi, Akwan Elizatia, and Akusen Beza, that in those a yet painting of what a premier of Akabaka Wakatunda, Ngabo Premier of Wakabu, the ticket at Mukozi, I now and why no people survive no part of it, sir, who must say you. Yeah, the, I remember Pastor Kaungizi, I'm sorry that you got to interpret this. I uh, was standing uh, somewhere at the gate of my house, which used to be here. Uh, and then I, was, I saw him running with the, a stick and driving a car, an imagine one. I called him back. <laughs> and he came back. You're going to be a minister of the word of God. And this car you shall drive at the real one. But don't, don't drive those pieces of wood <laughs> that are cars. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him you're going to be a pastor. <laughs> you'll be driving. <laughs> but not that kind of thing. <laughs> that is something for today, but tomorrow it should be <laughs> something there. <else. laughs> now you people. Go cool riding a... Uh, Imaginary horses and whatever. That's for today, but tomorrow will be different. When you're running, you're, when you're thinking in terms of the kingdom of God, be compatible to the mind of Christ who saved you and decided to put you in a higher place than you are now. Amen. Pray the Lord. And there's something else I want to tell you too. Don't drive the word of God. I mean, like... It, don't be over familiar with the word of God. Through overuse, and you're going to say, God hates this, God hates that, and then you make a rule oh, by, which, by which you're going to be motoring the word every way. Amen? That's not the way it's supposed to be. Amen? Amen? So, your remarks, even if you are mentioning that God hates people of this kind and of this kind, should sound like if they have an opportunity, if they choose to change, they are going to be loved like all the others. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 So you're not going to be here, you know, 
I mean, wearing the same old hat, you're going to become, you become a different person. The same, the same old hat. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. That is called trite, you know, repeated too often. Trite, repeated too often. I've seen some preachers who are repeating too much. And you're telling people about the same thing all the time. And it loses meaning due to overuse. Amen. Amen. You use the word false prophet every day. Amen. 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 The gospel ceases to be interesting. Amen. 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 Always he's talking about cults, cults, cults. Okay, if they are cults and you are a preacher, you call, correct the cults. Amen. In a private way. Amen. Amen. Rather than using the word all the time. It, the, word, the word, you know, will become like ban on useless, you know. It becomes boring. It becomes commonplace. Jesus was serious when he talked about uh, the people he hates who will be, who will be false prophets. Some of them have uh, within themselves a project of destroying what Jesus is doing. Amen. Amen. Using his name. Amen. Amen. So these preachers become hard as nails. Tell your neighbor, don't be hard as nails. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody, don't be hard as nails. Because that kind of thing, if you look at the spirit in which you are preaching, it is unoriginal. When you preach with hatred, the original thing was not like that. The original thing was God loved the world. Amen. Amen. So the original word is what should guide you. John chapter 3 and verse 16 says God so loved the world that he sent his only son whoever believes in him will not, not do what? We will perish, but find eternal life. That's the original message of Christ. Original from heaven, but for you, when you see the Catholics and Protestants, you go to them as a hater. Amen. 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 And you think you're filled with the Holy Spirit. He never came with a, 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 a gospel of God hating uh, the people so much that he sent his son. Tell somebody, don't be an original. The original is love, not hate. Amen? Professor 
Neither have you got to meet one day, one day, one day, Kakati, a bit to your time, maybe I have to later, be no one of you. Mugwaka, we are taking away the we are taking away the seal, not way money. Kakati, we are going to go to Gizato Buchai. Chiba Chitegaz and two foot day, Mugwaka, Wakatonda, Okana Madara, which take it. Kakati, Waka, Katonda, Okana Mala Kuganga, Kubanga Katonda, what we are going to see. Kubango, no better. Mobulizi, Obango no be that Mobulizi one year of Sumba, Elko Koino Kube singer, Bricho Koracho na Kakonda Watu Yakarins. Jesus was kind to me. I know he should have hated me because I was a, a, an atheist. Kakati, yes, we answer Sira, go on in Chai, Wapana is security of Kakonda. But Jesus came in the morning. Uh, he has seen me preaching to students and whatever that there's no God. And I was confirming to them that it's better to not waste time but, believe, but work hard instead of thinking there's a God. Amen? That God will help you somewhere. And at, this, at that time, I did not believe that God can perform a miracle. Amen? 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 I know that we can work hard and God can bless us, but also sometimes he performs miracles for us because he loves us. Can you turn the camera to those that have received miracles? They have received miracles which do not come from your labor. You can see that. Yes, miracles, and you can get a lot of uh, benefits from your labor, and God can bless you there, but also there are certain things which are done by angels in your life called miracles. Amen. Amen. God is not running under the world system. Amen. He's running under his divine system. He came from not the earth, but from heaven. Amen. And Jesus had no human father. So he did that miracle too, so that people may know that there are things which God does. Amen? God saving Daniel from the lion's den. Was that because Daniel was clever? Yeah. Or a hard worker? Or that he was able to trick the animals and they didn't tear him to pieces? That, it, it, that was a miracle. That is the line in which we should think because we believe in God. Working hard is also a good way, but that is the system of the world. Amen? Whether there's a curse in your life, you just mentioned it. Yeah. When there's a curse in your life, however hard you go to, go to school, however hard you read, however hard you do things, you need to come to church. But somebody may say over you, God. God bless you. Amen. Amen. That, that curses may break away. Curses may break. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. So I want to be careful about time worn words. Time worn words. Over say it. Tell your neighbor, time one words. There are certain things that are really because. Mm -hmm. See, you know, they are just threadbare. It's just like wearing trousers which are so old that they're threadbare now. Chiringa o kwabara ego ye, so nakatinga zafu kabulere, yuenge. 
See it, those threadbare things that you find in the scriptures, and then you keep on banging people's souls with them. Amen? Amen? Pray the Lord. Tired, tired jeans, you know. I got one, one pair of jeans that is, is a torn around, you know, just... When I'm walking, when I'm walking, the kneecap goes out. And I saw a joke somewhere that the beggars on the street knew the secret of uh, torn clothes. Now we are following them. <laughs> <laughs> Pray the Lord. We should not follow those teachings. That's not the original message of Jesus Christ. Can you say something about it? You know, what Jesus hates is, uh, is a very important topic. There are some things that he hates, and that is, uh, I like to, when I use the word hate, it's a very strong word. From our childhood, uh, we are not allowed to say, I hate you. Amen. 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 See, uh, when you say that word, you can say it with clenched teeth. You speak with, uh, to a brother of yours, a friend of yours, with that kind of fit in you, uh, you know, that hate. You see, in that small uh, times, those years of boyhood, whatever childhood, and then somebody will say to you, Kaunges, don't use that word. Are you really saying I hate? You see, you cannot use that word. I mean, we teach our children not to do that. Well, if you hate your brother, it means that you hate him like I hate papers myself. <laughs> mm. 
The hate is this. Dr. Siri loves it so much. I don't stop here from eating it, but when she gives me food of that kind, I eat, I eat the top of it and leave the lower <laughs> There's hate that we're talking about is a hate, an emotion of anger, sometimes of fear. We shouldn't have that uh, uh, settled hatred. As a pattern of your life. Amen? Amen? And then you look at those people, you always hate them. And you stand up in public and say, a good Muganda is a dead one. You have settled it in the policies of your, of your, of your government. Amen. <laughs> did you see it? Did you hear of it? Come on, next one. I mean, you can, can you explain what you, were you there when they said it? Who, who can you say? This government is up here, you are going to get on the government, you are going to get on the is a dead one, you are going to get on the government. I think, it's a good thing, you are going to get on the government, you are going to get on the government, you are going to get on the Whenever you meet a Muganda, kill him. That's how it was. So, that kind of disgust that settles into that destructive pattern of life. It is an attempt to hate a person permanently. Tell your neighbor, don't hate a person permanently. Don't do that. One day uh, there was a man who said a lot of lies about me, even in the newspapers. And against Pastor, uh, Dr. Syria as well. Dr. Syria. And they tried to embarrass the church so much, and the world seemed to have believed some of those lies about me. But I knew that uh, if I had some emotional disgust about what you are saying today, in the future it won't be the same. Amen? Amen? So, one day, I organized a meeting in a certain place, in a certain church, and he was invited. And then he sat among us, and we asked him, I asked, I asked him, why do you hate me like that? What have I done to you? And the man said to me that, I don't hate you. I want you to love me. That's what I'm trying, I'm trying to fight. I want you to love me. So, that's why he hates me. Some people are like that. Don't you know some women who hate you so much because they want you to love them? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
kumba ya gano muagari na kukira kumulichamu chona 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 but the day you love you love her <laughs> the day you love her she will say all the good things. She wants you to love her. Yes. That's why she hates you. Amen? <laughs> Don't you know that psychology? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to such a person. But the real reason why they hate you is because they want you to love them. They don't reject you completely. They won't be tired. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and, in, and in the same way, sometimes Jesus hates you, but he doesn't reject you completely. He wants you to love him. Yesu, akuchawa, niate takugadi la dara, ayakana ukujita mukuchawa oko. Omuagari. Omuagari. Bruce, I'm going to Amen. <laughs> Pray the Lord. He doesn't want to rob you of your very existence. He wants you to live. But in order that he may save you from dying, he will hate you with a holy hatred. Which is not completely intended to be forever. Amen? Amen? If it becomes a tool he uses to bring you back to God and save you. A good several dogs. I love dogs so much. Forgive me for talking about them. One of them gave birth to two babies last night. Uh, they're very nice to some of the best in the city, although <laughs> this place is not for advertisement. Although the church is not for advertisement. The church is not for advertisements. The church is not supposed to advertise business. But, at the gate of their little place where they live. Sometimes they're biting each other. They want to tear each other to pieces for one reason or another. So there's a permanent stick that I told those who are looking after uh, those dogs to keep around just in case one of them fights, hit it. Amen? 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 So they may learn some of the troubles you've gone through as to that you may learn. Am I helping you? Amen? Amen. He doesn't want to, to remove your existence. So, because hatred can be uh, equivalent to murder, a person. Don't hate, keep that kind of hatred in you. You should organize within yourself a mind that knows that one day this person will be welcome when they are Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. Can you read for us again John, John chapter 3 and verse 15? Jesus, God hated his own son. Didn't hate him for permanently. But for a few days. So that we may be saved. John 3. Yeah. 
15 there. Amen. Amen. See, these are very strong words. Yes, I Amen. You know, like uh, in those words uh, were misunderstood in the Old Testament that people you picked up stones and killed people. They will come to the Bible and pick up only the words of hate. In the scriptures, God hates. God hates this. God hates this. And they keep on preaching, God hates this. Pray the Lord. And they come to you in, and read for you Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8. There's a, there's a time to hate. 3 and verse 8. Yeah, uh, because of time, I want to uh, teach you that uh, God hates that those who are led by the spirit, the evil spirit, to destroy you. Evil spirits to destroy you. You know, if you leave this church today, anybody who has ever cursed your family, be sure that God will set you free from that curse. The Bible tells you he hates that curse because, you know, God said to Abraham, I think it's in Genesis 12, I will love those who love you and hate and curse those who curse you. And the evil spirit, people who are led by the spirit, permanently will suffer. So that you may survive. Or no, or so I was surprised when the Lord sent me, he said to me to read Isaiah 60. And I read it deeply to understand what he meant, what his mind was about. He said, in this Isaiah 60, what? What did he say? What did he say? Eh? Arise and shine. The, the light of the Lord is upon you. Around you there will be darkness. But over you there shall be light. That means I'll give you wisdom to, end, to understand mysteries. That is love of a very high level. But somewhere, he said, the nation that does not serve you shall be what? Completely destroyed. That's not about me. That is about Jesus. Amen? Because this kingdom is on mine. The kingdom that fights Jesus Christ. 
will be destroyed. Because the Bible says he will rule forever and ever. No one can stop him. Amen? The world system that tries to destroy him will be completely destroyed. God will hate anyone who hates his son. Have you understood? I've already spoken a prayer and a blessing upon you. May the Lord bless you very much indeed. Let your wounds be healed in the heart and also the and let your future be better. Let reconciliation happen again for you and your friends. Let reconciliation happen. reconciliation Me, I'm interested only in people getting good things from God. These days, many Muslims come to see me in my office. Lady told me today that her husband left her. He said, I am Muslim. Yes, we are both Muslims. So what do you want Jesus to do for you? To bring us back together. And that's what I prayed today. For her to get what she wants as a human being. Because, the la the because God loves the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus Christ was sent. It's not my kingdom. I can't run it as my kingdom. Or based on my religion. I don't have a religion anyway. I must run it according to the way of Christ. God bless you very much. Amen. Hallelujah. Professor Mungaro. Professor Atuyan Yenyu.